Good morning, my friends. It's Wednesday, April 29th. It is a really rainy, yucky day out. It's like a perfect day to stay cuddled up in your blankets while reading a book or doing your choice boards or practicing your sight words or doing math. It's okay to be cuddly and warm in a blanket in your PJs, but we still have to remember to do our work every day. I want to tell you guys something. It's really, really hard for moms and dads to do this work. They're not used to it. You guys know what I expect. You guys know how to do this stuff, and I know you can. I wouldn't have given it to you if you couldn't, okay? So I want you to promise me, pinky promise, that you are going to try really hard to do your work, and you're going to try not to get frustrated with moms and dads. They're doing the best they can, okay? They are working too. They're taking care of you. They're taking care of their house. They have to go to work still. It's a hard job, okay? So really try to be good listeners for your moms and dads and be helpers, okay? In my house, we call it see a need, fill a need. If you see that something maybe needs to be done, just do it instead of waiting for mom to ask you, okay? Something to think about. I have our story today. This story is about being different. And that's okay to be different. The story is called Egbert, the slightly cracked egg. And the author is Tom Ross. And the illustrator is Rex Barron. And if we look, we get to see the beginning setting for the story. This is where it takes place. There once was an egg named Egbert. He loved to paint beautiful pictures. Being with his paint easel painting. I've never met an egg who can paint. This is probably fiction. Egbert's painting always cheered up the other eggs in the refrigerator. But one day, it was discovered that Egbert was slightly cracked. That's a beautiful painting, huh? Look. Front page. It's got a crack. Eggs with crack shells were not allowed to stay. Sadly, the other eggs told Egbert he would have to leave. Egbert waved goodbye to his old friends. He hutched his shoulders, waited a little while, and pressed his shell together so the crack almost disappeared. Almost. But it didn't. Then he set out to look for a new place to live. All the drawers had labels, but none of them were right for Egbert. He knew he'd have to look harder. There had to be some place he could fit in. He didn't want to go in the vegetable drawer. Before long, Egbert came up with a spot with a beautiful view. Only I could stay here, he thought. Then he had a great idea. No one had to know that he was an egg with a crack. He would paint himself to look like the other things around him. He'd blend right in. Look, he's making himself kind of camouflage. Remember we talked about that? When you blend right in, kind of looks like a building, doesn't he? But... Just as Egbert was thinking he'd find the perfect place, a potato plant happened to notice his crack. Split, he said. Egbert tried not to be discouraged. Maybe I'll have better luck outdoors, he said. The only way down was to jump. This time I checked, it's not so smart for eggs to be jumping anywhere. It looks like a very grumpy potato. What do you think? Luckily, 
and Bert landed in a soft bed of flowers. He had never seen flowers before, but they smelled even better than butter and lettuce. Perhaps this is the perfect place for me, he thought. A dab here, a splotch there, voila! Egbert was covered like a flower. He did a good job painting himself like a flower, didn't he? But late that afternoon, an angry bee discovered that you cannot get nectar from an egg. Again, Egbert was told he had to leave. It was getting dark, so he still had a not found a place to live. So when he was about to give up all hope, a glimmer of something caught his eye. Here's the bee. I'm on his way. What beautiful night lights, Egbert whispered with all his might and twice his usual care. He climbed up the fence. Perfect, he said, when he was covered with stars. But the next morning, when the night stars were gone, a cat discovered that Egbert was just an egg with a cracked shell. Scramble, said the cat. Egbert took a hard fall on the sidewalk. Now he was more cracked than ever. It had started to rain, and he began to sob. Remember, sob means to cry. He realized that no matter how he painted himself, he could not hide who he was. Finally, the rain stopped, and the sun broke through a crack in the clouds. Egbert began to notice something he had never noticed in his whole life. The world was full of cracks, all sorts of wonderful cracks. Maybe it's not such a bad thing to have a little crack. Think about it. Sidewalks have cracks. Right? The crowds crack open. From then on, Egbert traveled the world, making new friends and seeing other cracked items. You look, he's flying over a canyon that's cracks in the rock. And then he saw a volcano, which has a crack in the mountain when the lava flows, right? But he never forgot his friends back home in the fridge. And he painted them beautiful postcards of his travels. They were, they were well and amazed. And they missed him, truth be told. To this day, Egbert does not regret being cracked. In fact, he's even proud of it. It's okay to be a little different, right? Not everyone's the same. And never quit, did he? So this was Egbert, the cracked egg. I hope you guys have a great day. Be creative, maybe build a fort, do some coloring, read an extra book. And enjoy this rainy day. Hopefully the sun will come out tomorrow.